and welcome back to another episode of the Credit Authority. Once again, I am your host, Rhonda Kulch, and I am so glad that you joined us today. Before we start our segments, we always want to thank our sponsors, so thank you so much to Equity First. If you are experiencing credit and or financial challenges, feel free to reach out to any one of their trained professionals. They are bilingual, nationwide, and ready to take your call. They could be reached at 631-714-4822. And I am so excited for our next guest. So welcome, my friend Donna Siriani with Moving Forward Strategies. How are you? I'm doing great, Rhonda. Thank you so much for having me on. This will be fun. You know what? I, I love that you just said this is going to be fun because we are in a world where Long Island is filled with entrepreneurs, business owners, and people that are trying to figure out how to get ahead. And that's exactly what your seminars are doing. It's about leadership and mindset. So I want you to start from the beginning and tell us a little bit about who Donna Siriani is and how you had the creative idea of launching Moving Forward Strategies. Well, thank you. So I am actually, if you go back into my career, I'm actually a former educator. So I was a high school teacher and I designed curriculum and um, worked with students and I loved it. I had resigned to be a stay-at-home mom and now I started my own business about 10 years ago and kind of took all of those skills of creating curriculum and design and putting it and I put it into moving forward strategies where I could design seminars to keep people engaged and um, just focus on mindset and personal development. And from that, so I work one-on-one a lot with leaders and helping them to get clarity and all the initiatives that they have moving forward. Sometimes you need someone to kind of keep you on track. And then I also have this seminar series I just launched last month called um, Living Leadership. So the idea with that is this ongoing monthly interactive seminar series, and we focus on personal development, and it's for the business leaders of Long Island. We hold it at Drake Media Studios in Melville, and um, it's it's really like everybody's so busy, so especially these days, it's great the idea to take two hours out of the day and just focus on yourself and your own personal development. And this, these seminars are all full of business leaders and people that are really doing great things on Long Island. So they're really busy, and it's nice for them to interact with other business leaders that also value personal development. And the room is just, it's just the energy, the feedback is just, the energy is awesome, the connection and the depth of relationships that these business leaders are creating and talking about things that are really real and helping them with their lives and their own growth. It's just the discussions are amazing and the support between each other is amazing and the walls come down. People connect. We have fun. We have music. We have interactive, meaningful type um, activities that they do based on whatever topic that we have because we have a different topic every single month. I love it. I was just going to ask you about that. Give me an example of, you know, I'm, I decide I want to go to one of your seminars and I'm on the fence. Give me a quick example of something that you may be teaching. Okay. So one of the topics that we have is is called self-leadership. Who are you and where are you going? So in that seminar, what we did is we had everybody have do an activity where they figured out what their top three values are. And they had a list and they went through the list and then there was an activity they did as partners. But at the end of the day, they found out their top three values. And the fact is, if you're doing things throughout the week in your organization and in your personal life that are aligned with these three values, you feel inspired. You feel fulfilled. If you feel disconnected, it's probably because you're not doing things that are aligned with your values in your days. So we first came up with that. Then what we did is we created their personal mission statement. So organizations, you know, usually have the mission statement, the vision statement, and we have that for organizations, but a lot of times as leaders, we really don't have that for ourselves. So this gave everybody an opportunity to really think about, and especially after the pandemic, people are, are, have been so reflective and thoughtful about their lives and what's important. So we really had to, we gave everybody time and, and helped them design their own personal mission statement. And then we said, well, okay, now you have your values and you have your personal mission statement. What are some of the decisions you have to make in your personal life, in your organization, and how can you now apply what you know to be true with your values and your mission statement to make the right decision where you're congruent 
and you feel good about the direction you're going. So that was an example of, you know, one of the type of seminars that we had. I love it. So in other words, you're helping to have everybody sit in a room and take a few minutes to process their strengths and weaknesses and then figure out ways to almost hold them accountable, right? Yeah. And, and apply the information that they've learned. Let's talk for a second about somebody who now attends. They are walking away inspired and they're feeling great. Do you also offer one-on-one -on -one to maintain the accountability? I find that especially when I'm doing business coaching on my side, clients need that accountability. It's very similar to joining a gym, hiring a personal trainer. You can go to the gym, but if you just sit there, right, and you don't have somebody to motivate exactly. you to go from point A to point B, joining the gym may not have been the right decision. So you need additional support and team membership. Is that something else that people can find with you and you offer, whether it's yourself or through somebody else at your firm, that gives that additional support? Absolutely. And that's such a great point because a lot of times organizations and people one-on-one, -on -one, they, they say, well, how do I maintain this? You know, I, I went here, I did this. And I kind of look at it like, like a football team, right? You don't have a coach and the coach coaches a football team and then the season starts and then the coach says, all right, bye, I'm out of here. And then you're on your own for the rest of the season, right? You continue to be with that person. So having somebody on your team that is constantly with you with that one-on-one -on -one strategy and that one-on-one -on -one session Throughout, I mean, it's just another resource. I, I mean, as as successful professional people, they always look for resources to get them where they want to go. So working with us, whether they're coming to the seminar once a month to get these tune-ups and transformations, which is another consistent resource and opportunity they can have, they can also work with me one-on-one -on -one to get more of that VIP experience in between. I love And something else that you said that I think is such an important takeaway is that when when people are attending your live event, which is the living leadership, people are there and they're networking and they are creating relationships. Give me an example of the different types of professionals that you see in the room because Long Island as an entrepreneur community is huge. But do you find yeah. that a majority of the people are, they're business owners, but what type of industries are you seeing are the most relevant to what you're teaching? They're really, they're really across the board. So we've had partners at law firms, partners at international accounting firms. We have business owners. Um, we have CFOs, COOs. So we have people that, I mean, anybody that's in a leadership position and is basically has that team that they kind of had to leave, have to lead. And what we kind of say is lead yourself while leading others. Right. So you have to lead these people, lead yourself first and, and do something for yourself. So the interaction between them, what's really actually very cool is that you have all these different industries and everybody kind of drops their title while they're in the seminar because the things that we're doing doesn't have to do with their industry at the moment. It has to do with them personally. But from this is the, they, they create this bond with each other and it's much deeper and much more meaningful than if they just went somewhere and they listened to information and they sat side by side because they're engaged with each other. So now they really first form, which I think is most important, that authentic, meaningful relationship with like, hey, Bob, hi, hey, Tom, and they get to know each other really close. And then it's like, oh, hey, what do you do? Oh, I, by the way, I lead, I lead this organization. Oh, I, you know, I'm the CEO of that organization. And what they feel is, wow, if you're coming here to constantly improve yourself, I wonder how you run your organization. And like, this has to, this the type of person that you are has to lead into and, and into the organization and how you run it. I would love to talk to you about your business, your organization. So it's like first they connect at that human core level, and then they find out what they do, and it's just natural that they want to follow through. And wouldn't it be great to do business with people who are constantly looking to improve themselves and have that open mindset? And then they bring that to their, their organization. So it, it's just a really great you know, what I get back is it, there's so much positive energy in the room and people are really enjoying connecting with each other. And I think we need that, especially after COVID. They love coming back face to face and just seeing people for real instead of, you know, on a box on, on the screen. 
So that's nice too. You know, it's funny because it sounds like you're helping to develop very organic relationships. You know, true story. I get together with a group of friends every Tuesday morning and we call it our Mm -hmm. friends circle because it's sometimes you need your friends. Friends support each other. So instead of going into a networking group where you, not that, you know, I don't not think that that's important, but the idea is sometimes you don't connect with everybody in a networking group, but we have what's known as a friends group and we get together on Tuesdays and the idea is to talk about very similarly, hey, what have you experienced in the last week or what challenges are you facing? And as a friend, you want to support them. And it sounds like what you're doing is developing very organic relationships that are doing very similar components. So I I applaud you for your amazing work. So once again, we are speaking with Donna Siriani of Moving Forward Strategies and the creator of the Living Leadership Seminars. Donna, how do they reach you? So they can go to movingforwardstrategies.com and if you look under events, you can see what the next event is because we do one every month. It's open to the public. Go online and you can get a ticket through the website. I love it. Well, thank you so much for joining us today. Stay tuned for our next guest. 